Welcome to the latest episode of Irish from Three. I'm your host, Jason Holcomb, and I'm joined right now by Coach Evan Jefferson and Coach Ben Smith. Great wins last night on the road against Wheeler County, former region rival, blowout victories in both cases. Coach Jefferson, you guys are riding a winning streak right now. Definitely. And you're above 500. You got to feel good. Definitely. Uh, the girls are starting to gel a lot better. Um, not only are we notice it, People in the stands are noticing it, get compliments about them, how much better they look now compared to the beginning of the season. So um, I've been preaching it since day one. Uh, stick to us, stick with us through the rough times, and uh, towards the end of the season, we'll be a whole lot better. So that's what we're seeing. And I love it. And one thing that I'm really excited about and we'll talk about in a minute is the variety of players that are contributing for you guys you're starting to get some output from some folks and that's really going to be helpful as we get into this region stretch but before we get to that let's go ahead and check out our optum player of the week All right, Coach, Yuri's one of those girls that any night she's liable to light up the stage. You know, those three start falling, and then she's just got such a smooth handle. Uh, talk about how her play has been starting to improve week to week. She's just been uh, – she's really been on top of her game the last four or four, five games. Um, last game Saturday uh, against Vidalia, she was very talkative. Um, the tangibles came out, leadership, um, telling girls where they're supposed to be, and just – being up, uh, upbeat and being positive the, the entire time. And she hit a big shot down the stretch when they were making a comeback um, that really kind of put the nail in the coffin for us. So we really she, proud She's of good her. at that now. She is. She is. She's a big shot. Even, when, coach, even when coaches say, no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You can you shoot it, it's, shoot it. That's oh, fine. That's fine. I've said that so many times. <laughs> and she nails and she just look at me like, what? Like, what? This is what I do. Like, so <laughs> I'm proud of her. Um, I don't want her to stop. I, we, we continue to work with her every day on and off the court and that's the biggest thing um is how she's been off the court she's improved a lot so we wanted to keep it keep it going and coach ben i know as a guard you know seeing somebody with that kind of mindset that you know they you got to temper it all the time because you you feel every shot you shoot is going i mean i saw you before the show like you were throwing up shots and they were just all going in and that's kind of hard you know uh, how do you temper that with with somebody of Yuri's skill to be able to keep her to know when to pick the right shot i think you know that's part of coach job uh, coach jeff and your coaches and coach quarterman you know they got to kind of try to rein them in because it's players sometimes you know we get to making shots and the backs get bigger and <laughs> sometimes we don't even know where the line is. We open, we're gonna shoot right. it. So, you know, some especially at this age, you just need a little help from your coaches. But as she get older and mature, she'll be able to, to decipher which ones all right. That might be just a little too crazy. But got a little confidence for sure. And Coach Jefferson, as we wrap up talking about the girls, obviously we're getting into the, the deep part of our region schedule, but uh, I was teasing before we came out of the break about the variety of girls that are starting to make plays. I'm seeing different queen, and it's queens of the court here lately. You know, the girls have been voting on more than one. I know that has to speak to chemistry and to just the effort on the court. How does that? How does that get you excited? Um, I, I, I told them in the middle of the season uh, for us to be really good, we have to do it as a committee or like a pack of wolves. Um, so last night we had our smallest player. D, Derica, uh, she was one of the queens. And then our biggest player, Madeline, she uh, was dominating in the paint last night. Um, both of them just, they just, they, you know, two people that you don't expect to be the queens of the court. Then you have Saturday, you had McKinley, Eminem, and she was dominating right. in the paint with all the rebounds, had seven alone by herself. And then, like we just talked about, Uri, all around game, 15 points, seven rebounds, five assists, three steals. So, I mean, you can't ask for nothing else. And they just continually That's do That's awesome. That's a killer line. And I, I hope those lines continue as we get ready to host a pair of big region games. And when we come back from the break, we'll be talking with Coach Ben Smith, and we'll be talking about those region matchups for boys and girls on Irish from 3. All right, we're back, guys, and I'm joined now with Coach Ben Smith. Coach, uh, a, a huge win last night over a former region rival in Wheeler County. Uh, I know you've talked about trying to, to get the chemistry and get the energy where you want it. It, it seemed to be that way last night. Uh, what did you see out of the game? I thought we responded well from uh, – we had a loss at Vidalia that we didn't – we agreed as a team was our worst 
first half and I don't not just this year and the guys were um, disappointed in the way we performed and I think you just saw like their character last night we had a talk and we had practice and I think just from the start they were very uh, intentional with their efforts ready to make plays play for each other play hard and we made shots which uh, isn't always the case for us and to go along with our defense and we just started from there and we never looked back that's awesome I love it and I love the the idea that hey let's bounce back let's get better and we're going to need everybody to get better but before we talk about continuing to get better let's see who was better in the game last week with our optum player of the week All right, Coach, you talked about A.J. pre-show. Talk about what, what he does for the Irish and why he's deserving of this award. Uh, it's more – A.J. played well last night. He led us with 16 points, but I'm giving him more so uh, this uh, award just because it's been a process with him. A.J. is one of our more talented kids in the program. He's been on varsity uh, all year, but he has had several DMPs and did not play just because he just wasn't competing hard enough. And he was kind of struggling with that of what he wants and what the team needs uh, all year. And just the last two weeks, you kind of just seen the change or like, okay, coach knows I can score. But if I can compete hard and play defense, that's right. what's going to get me on the floor. And then, so I told him the day before, listen, I'm going to play you early. Like, you deserve it now. You deserve to go out here and play early. And he was able to go out there and make an impact. off. Like, I didn't, didn't expect him to have 16 points. <laughs> but offensively, I but knew. But you should he, take him. <laughs> yeah, I knew he would be ready to play. Like, he's one of our better offensive players for sure, varsity or JV. We just needed him to pick up the other stuff. And hopefully it continues. And if it does, you'll see a much larger role for him on varsity. That's awesome. And uh, just to let everybody know, there are uh, fresh donuts and Starbucks coffee available <laughs> at the front office. Uh, for those of you who happen to hear that overhead, we want to thank whoever brought those. Uh, I'm sure the coaches will go grab one immediately after we get through with the show. Uh, but uh, let's talk about this week. This week is where region play is, is coming to fruition. Like from here on out, like it's going to be hard pressed. You'll have a few non-region games, but pretty much it's region for the next month. Mm -hmm. um, Jefferson on Friday, East on Saturday. Uh, I know you guys are ready for the kids to bring it, but, but from both of you, what are the things that you have to do to make sure that that, that region records put you in the top two seeds? Uh, from our standpoint, we need to take care of business just because right now we started off 2-0 and and with huge because they were both road victories. So now this time with Jefferson coming this uh, Friday and then East Lawrence Saturday, we were able to come get both of those victories with other other things that's going along mm -hmm. in the region. At, at the end of Saturday night, if we take care of business, we could be up two games, uh, only four games left to play in region, which gives us a great chance of hosting the region tournament again because the boys top seed hosted the region tournament over the last two days. I won't complain. Yeah, so <laughs> that's our It's focus. always better when you come to the Rock. No doubt. Day oh, at a time. Yeah. So that's that's really what we're doing. We got two good opponents. Uh, Jefferson to be tough. And, of course, East Lawrence. That's a rivalry. They're a talented group, both uh, boys and girls. So I'm sure our kids will be ready to play. But from our angle, that's what we're, uh, how we're approaching it. Uh, for us, we just need to take it uh, one day at a time can't overlook any opponent in the region um, Jefferson County their their record is doesn't reflect how they play they're, they're small they're scrappy um, they have a veteran core that, that all three were pretty high scores last year and they're scoring at a pretty good volume this year um, so we we can't overlook them uh, preparing trying to get ready for East how do you Lawrence avoid Saturday? playing their style because that sounds like they're going to come in wanting to do a certain thing and how do you avoid that temptation of well if they're going to shoot then let's shoot and then we're getting to this back and forth just Very sticking with what, what's been getting us getting us our victories this uh, the second half of the season um, just really playing defense getting mm -hmm. a lot of steals and getting out and running I think I don't think people realize how much we get a lot of our points off of long rebounds, rebounds and pushing the ball. They need to watch those head. highlight clips, right. man. <laughs> I see a lot of Tahar Diallo steal. Steal and go out and just get the out Haley of the so, um, Caitlin Steele. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just have to we just have to stick with what we know and what we do best and um take care of business Friday and then turn all our focus to East Lawrence on Saturday. We can't overlook any opponent. And then sometimes People plugging the stuff in for y'all. 
don't share who it was. Dublin Irish steal. Dublin Irish rebound. <laughs> Dublin Irish oh, three. Yeah. And you'll be like, nah, feel feel y'all hit that yeah. three, man. Yeah. Like I don't that's, know about that. Yeah, that we we gonna have to uh, have a talk with Huddle about <laughs> what we paying in the production. We yeah, get come on, Huddle, you gotta step it up, man. <laughs> maybe maybe it's where it's got that that football front focus that maybe we just need to help them st- step up their basketball game. But it, I get tickled looking at the highlights. It's like Dublin Irish rebound, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, that was Madeline. Like you right. just put it, you know, um, look for it. It's, I mean, the numbers on the back for that's a reason. Right. That's right. But we want you guys to see these kids in live action and not in highlights. Again, we've got a pair of home region play. Uh, I want to call them playoff games. Might as well. Uh, we got a pair of home region games this weekend: Friday night Jefferson County, Saturday night East Lawrence. Tip is six for both, right? For the girls, followed by the boys. Normally around seven thirty ish. Want you guys to come out, do your part, support the Irish. We need the rock rocking. And when we get the student section going, energy gets high. We get victories. That's right. Right, 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 right. right. Also, the uh, our state, well, I'm thinking about our state, uh, four by two track girls who won state championship last year, they'll be honored at halftime to get Ooh. the ring ceremony, so ring presentation. So if you're a track fan or just an Irish fan in general, make sure you come in and support and cheer on them at halftime. That's okay. awesome. Yeah, and I'm going to I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, we're probably not done with the hardware on the track. Just, uh, you know, I'm just going to, I'm not trying to put pressure on the kids, but we, we got boys and girls. We, we got a real shot. So loving everything that's going on here around Dublin sports. But right now we're talking Dublin basketball. You guys come out Friday, Saturday. It's worth your time. It's a lot of fun, a lot of energy. The kids love it. Come out and support us. And as always, this has been ours from three.